But that's not like brain rot. No, it's not, but it's getting close. It's getting to it's the point close. of like superb irony. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all be looking for Dory, but I Nemo bread. <laughs> All right, count. Well, actually, no. Finish your finish your eating. Tubby's in the corner, freaking out about his stat one ten midterm. We should do an interview of him. No, I was saying when you come up here, we'll do one live in in our bedroom. What an interview? An episode with him. Oh, like a full ass one. All right, sure. How long is it going to take? Well, uh, all right, we can try. Not right now. Oh, not right now. I'm saying when you come up here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here, Covey. Look. Here, Covey, a sandwich. It's for you. Good. Try it. For you. Oh, Right? Six bucks. Yeah. The farmer's market in Cargo Square on Tuesday. Mm. I always look at this bread, and I finally <laughs> bought it today. We should just be recording. Are you recording? I am recording, but it's not good for you to just be eating on mic. Because what are we doing? You start off the yesterday, the episode that's going out tomorrow just like eating cereal or oatmeal or yogurt or something. We had this scheduled for lunchtime. Yeah, uh, okay, I guess. I'm a hungry, hungry, hungry hippo. All right, clap. Three, two, one. Munching right on our, our podcast, always. Yeah. I am going to strangle you for how you use the microphone. That is just an inevitability. It's what, what did I do with my microphone? Because you just, it's not a good microphone. Well, it's a microphone that's fine, but you're not using it properly. So, how am I not using it properly? Okay, you're using it fine, but not as good as you should be. How about that? How should I use it? You should have it on some kind of stand or something and keep it close to you. It's on a stand. Yeah, but you leave it there, and so it's like it's right at the side of your desk, and then you're like, ah, oh, you know, it's so tiring days like okay. these. And you speak in the same volume, so I have to go in and editing and boost it. Look, there's only one way to clamp this thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. My floppers. And I can't clamp it here because I need, I need it to, like, be useful. And then all the rest of these is solid. Okay, you're recording this on your phone, I assume, right? Yeah, okay. Well, just because I don't know what you're looking at while you're doing this. And so the only place I can clamp it to is this little box that I created. And... Wait. Hello? You should actually be able to sync that up. Uh, I probably using, won't. Using, using your wave and hello. Good. Why? Well, no we could, but then it would be synced off of that rather than the clap that we do. No, 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 Just this video. Oh, sync that in? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Like, I, you can see yourself saying hello. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You looking fucking schnazzy this morning, huh? How am I looking schnazzy? You just got a good fit on. Coffee stained sweatpants? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, the top, at least. Oh, good tailing. No, the top is very nice. It's tied in the mail. Could not it's understand sad. a word. Keep munching. Lululemon. Lululemon, eh? Yeah, I just got it in the mail for the challenge. Nice, though. You're, you're playing the boner challenge. What does that mean? It's where you just hey, don't wear... don't get naked. Don't do it. Where you wear gray sweatpants. What? What is what is blood doing? He's entirely <laughs> naked right now. Dude, show it. Completely. <laughs> Completely. Completely naked. Yeah. Wait, so you guys have Did seen you each your... other's peni now? No, I have. He doesn't have a bottom. He just has jeans. I, I'm convinced he has no legs. He just has jeans and feet. So he's not completely naked then. He's shirtless. Yeah, no, I was just trying to liar. I'm gonna get my socks. Yeah, go get your socks. Um, we're doing a. Oh wait, we already had a cover reveal. Never mind. 
What do you um, mean? He didn't show his face at all. He just Good. like let's keep it that way until he shows up. Okay. So, well, I, okay. Um, did you hit your five hundred subscribers? I did. Um, but I did realize though that it's not actually good monetization. What do you mean? It's uh, it enables me to do channel memberships and get donations from super chats and uh, one other thing, but not actually ad revenue. When do you get ads? A thousand subs and four thousand watch hours. You're pretty close. Didn't you hit 3,000 watch hours? I'm close on the watch hours, but not on the subs. So. Sounds like you have to do my plan and actually put effort into the channel. No, no. 500 subs is so much, though, that, like, it's going to take some real juice and some real pump. Zero to 500 is way harder than 500 to 1,000. True. Real. Real shit, real shit, plus two. But I think, um... I don't know. I still need a break from the serious stuff. It's still okay. it's still too tiring. Cause like I've even been the past few days going back and trying to like cut a, a few shorts from the right. Alachua County one, and even that mm -hmm. is just like exhausting. Cause I'm like I'm so tired of the serious stuff. I'm so tired of this footage and whatever. So I don't know. I mean, I'll probably do some video out of the election because I'll probably stream that. But then we'll see. Are you gonna stay up all night? Uh when do they call it? Well, normally they call it, like, I don't know. I mean, they used to call it at sane hours of the night. But, I mean, it's just been... Uh, I'll Google. Or let me screen share. Ugh, yuck. Screen share. Um, here, I might just do this. So that I can keep the screen shared and then not have to fucking always turn it on and back off. Um, oh, wait, but it's fucked. Oh, hold on, hold on. Javi, I'm being a dummy. I'm being a dummy, dum dum, dummy, 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 yay, dummy, yay, dummy, ya, shwe, shwa la la la, bam, hide. Okay, now, can you see that? Yeah. No, device not connected. What do you mean, device not connected? There we go. Okay. Um. Okay, that should be good. Uh, let me clip. Okay, hold on. Sorry, dude. We do this. Fuck it, we'll do it live. I'll write it live. Uh, That's a good video. What is it? When is election called? Uh, I don't want to click on any of these. These all seem boring and cringe. Um, uh, what time? What, what time, time is the election called? Uh, polls are open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. local time. So probably that would close at 10 p.m. West Coast. Uh, Good luck. So probably like midnight, I would think-ish. You know? When did they call it last year? Well, last year was the oddball because last year was, um... Oh, hold on. We'll get to that. What is that freeze frame? We'll get to that. Um... Last year was the oddball because it was uh, like everything with the mail and votes, votes and taking a while and election things. So it took like three days. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember that. If it does take that long, though, I feel like I, I would be down to do a marathon stream of it. Of just yeah, like I could see that. not ending stream until the election is called. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty hard, though. Uh, no, it wouldn't. Why would it? I mean, if it happens while I'm asleep, then so be it, and I just wake up to the news of it, but... Right. That'd be a good clip, though. What, of me being woken up to that? Yeah, that would be a good clip. I would have to sleep with my mic unmuted, though, but that's fine. <laughs> <sighs> that, I'd, I'd actually pay to see that. It'd be pretty good. Yeah, I need to do... I need to fucking make shit. I spent the last, like, half first half of this past week just mopey depresso playing red dead redemption 2 all day and then you gotta delete that game no i'm not gonna delete that game but uh I, i'm not going to because i have a reason which i'll get to but um i i did make the switch friday where i'm like yo i'm tired of being depressed and people around me being worried about me i'm just not gonna be depressed anymore um nice 
So I've been largely writing off of that and, you know, been more productive since then. And it's been chill time, good time. For once, I got the podcast editing done over the weekend rather than cramming it in right before the episode was supposed to come out. I've been in this mindset for thousands of years. <laughs> Emotions don't have to exist if you say they don't. You and the previous generations of Bobby Air have all been in yes. the let's just lock in and not worry. How do you think I got here? True. Real. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Literally, I'm more worried at work than I've ever been in my life, but I don't care. What do you Why? mean? You're more worried at work. Dude, these tests are the hardest shits I've ever seen in my life. Oh, wow. You can take a test. Okay. Uh, right? Sure. But if you just lock in, you don't have to think about it. If you lock in, you can do anything. Correct. You're a pawn in a chess game. Your goddamn right. universal that's chess the, that's game. That's the whole thing. Your pennies yeah. on someone's balance sheet. Lock in. Not even. Not even pennies. They're like fractions. Yeah. All right. I'm interested. What is this? What? What's the clip of you? Okay. Well, we yeah, have something. Yeah, I don't like where, where, where we're starting here. We have something. I have, I have some evidence to present to the class. Let me. Okay. So I want you to watch this clip back. Um, okay. Just this is a piece of evidence one. I don't know what I tell her to delete it. In the okay, hold on. Let's go back a little bit more. Post that on our office. So unhappy. Yeah. If you're like, oh my God, three months with my boo. Or the same people that break up the next week. Oh my God, found the love of my life and my king. If Maddie ever said that about me in a public Instagram post, not only would I tell her to delete it in the comments, I would simply roll over and die. She should do that for your boyfriend day post. Also dumb. I get that I'm now forced to do it because society, that is dumb. No, dude, I have Somebody in my... empirically, just like taco day. If I post about taco day, that's dumb. I have in my calendar still what day is boyfriend day. Oh, fuck. This wasn't the main episode clip I wanted to find. Shit! What's happening? No, this wasn't the clip I wanted to find. This was a different one, but whatever. But so I just is want... Is this about me shitting on boyfriend day? Yeah, I just wanted to revisit this. Even though this. she posted like a loser? I, I actually texted her about this. I, I wanted to revisit this because you were like, no, she won't post about it. She wouldn't. She wouldn't. I'll make sure she doesn't. And then guess what? As, as, as we speak, if you will look in the fucking topics channel... I have the photo of you reposting her thing. Or is that of you repo- No, that's of her thing. But you did repost it. Yes. Yeah, this is her. So, who the lame. fuck was right? Yeah, you were right. You were right. However, lame on her. Yeah, but you didn't fucking tell her to take it down like you said you would. No, I did not. See? My spine is in her purse. See? That's the difference between you and I. October 3rd. Uh, I think the 5th. When was it? I think it was the 5th. I don't know. I put it in my calendar because I knew... No, it was the 3rd. See, you know Boyfriend Day better than I do. But I, uh... I, I, I just remember it being the same day as Will and Covey's birthday. Oh, yeah. But, uh, I knew she would do it. And who was right? Who was right? I was right. So you're fucking egg on your face. How about that, huh? All over me. All over you. Because you yeah. took the stand and guess what? You did it. Jake win. Jake yeah. win. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's, uh, that's on me. Jake win. Yeah. Ha ha, you have a girlfriend who loves and cares about you. Ha ha, get fucked. My, my job that I had over the summer sent me, a, a, like, they one day shipped me a package. And I was like, uh-oh. Why, why are they, like, one day overnighting something? What? The Aww. picture of my first back. You're so cute. Because they're because they're old. They got me two of them. That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I have two pictures of my first backs. It's one for the bed stand and one for the bathroom. I guess. Why? But why I did like they... that they labeled this one? Yeah. Well, that's the important. As if I didn't know. Yeah. Why did they overnight it? They were like, "This is that urgent that he needs okay. to see." So the guy, who owns, the guy who owns Lowry Financial, or started it, not owns, started it, is like obsessed with one day mail. <laughs> like, will pay a, an extreme amount of money for one day mail. He forgot his keys to a different car. 
that he was driving and was like, hey, Javi, I need you to go to my house. He was in, like, a different place at the time. I need mm-hmm. you to go to my house, find my keys, and one day ship them to me. <laughs> and I was like, this isn't the car that you took, though. Um, so why, and do then you, also, why do you want them? I don't know. Okay. And then instead of, like, carrying his notes with him for client, like, if he goes out of state to see a client. Yeah. He will one day ship them to the desk of the um of the of the hotel. That's goofy. And we're convinced it's just because he's like, oh, I'm picking a package, and it's like, bro, <laughs> bro. He he just like, loves the postal service. I guess, dude. It's an odd thing. I mean, that's... and it gets like the nicest boxes. Like it has to be one day priority. Insured ship. Why does he like it so much? I have no idea. It's so expensive. I mean, how much is each what's thing? What's one day... Look up what's one day mail on a... Am I still screen sharing? Uh, you're not, but... Okay. What's one day mail on a... Um, pop it on. on a box. One day mail box shipping price. Price. UPS. UPS. Um... Medium box or a large box. According to AI, is twenty two. No, but these are flat rates. That's uh, here. We want one day. Oh, one day. Here we're looking at the UPS daily. Is that it? Air freight. What What would it be under? Flat rate. Move, move that. What? There you go. The UPS store. Where? UPS store. See, this is Pack real. This is real investigative journalism. Uh, common items we ship. Okay, pack and ship guarantee. No, I don't want to ship from the local store. It's probably location Shipping. based. I would think. Shipping. Where? Oh, top at the top. Uh, calculate shipping, shipping cost. Yeah, yeah. See, look. Do, do from Gainesville to. Gainesville. That's my address. Let's change that some, or I'll just censor it, uh, to Boston. 02116. Uh, when are you shipping? Today. Yeah. Update. Yeah, yeah. Update. Um, this is going to be a pain to censor. I need to stop scrolling as much. Uh, just blur the whole thing. Next day early, next day aired, next day... Next day air. Next day How much is next day air? air? Ship now. Let's see. Create a shipment. Ship from... Yeah, Jesus oh Christ. God. I'm not doing all this. I don't care. Payment. It won't even let me open it. Fuck you. God damn it. It remains unsolved. And I closed that for... You're gonna do your own, sl- oh, but now I have to solo carry the podcast because you're because no, you're not. horrible at multitasking. I'm not. I'm very good at multitasking. No, you aren't. You. How am I not one? How am I not amazing at it? You said in a previous episode, yeah, I cannot multitask. This was literally only one or two ago. Dude, uh, wrong. What do you mean wrong? Wrong. Literally not wrong. Oh my god! It's like forty-five bucks. That's crazy. Jeez, dude. That's worth more than the picture. Actually, but they did send me a lit shirt. What? Just snazzy? Uh, it's just with, yeah, it's with like uh, the company logo and mm. nice shirt. Sheesh. Yeah, it's nice. Anyways. Sheesh. Ice vein. Ah, oh, dude. Holy moly. Tired? So much work to do. Yeah. Just applied for a bunch of internships. See what we'll get. For what? I thought you already had your internship for the summer figured out. No, I'm getting as many options as possible so that I can force them to pay me more. Ooh. Smart little lad. Smart lad. Thanks. But yeah. It's because I'm a money grabbing butt face. You are, motherfucker. Yeah. There was some shit I saw about, like, people. Uh, being more willing to quote unquote sell out 
and like just being like yeah i just want to fucking make money and like there's a huge trend in gen z of doing this even more and more and like well there's Who's like been saying that? there's like 50 percent of gen z that wants to do it more and more and then 50 percent who wants to do it less and less and i was like yeah this has been hobby for years like i have been capital s sellout yeah since eighth grade yeah all that dude do you know do you remember my three goals in life no I have three goals in life. Pussy, money, weed? None of the above are those three, three goals. Not even three money? Goals, no. Three goals in life. Hobby's three goals. Retire my parents and make sure they never pay a bill. Okay. Uh, then it is make sure my family never pays, ha, never has to worry about any bills. So like college, like all that shit. Yeah. Everything paid for easily. And then be on a racetrack. 30 weekends out of the year. That would be dream life. Yeah. That's a, that's a big goal. And what do, you have to, what do you have to do to get those three? Pussy money weed. Sell out. Your soul devil. Yeah. Consulting up. Yeah. 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 If I were to ever employ you, I would need to be making hand over fist money. Oh, yeah. Because my minimum rate is like $250,000. Yeah, even if it's more creatively fulfilling, it would have to be enough money for you to actually yeah. fight You'd the be broke, and you'd have to actually pay me a lot of money. Yeah. I have a strong feeling that it could work the other way, though. What, that you would employ me? Yeah. For what? I don't know, director of creative services. Eh. But what would that be as? For what com that would be as like a company, would it not? Yeah. I'd get bored. Yeah, but when you're broken, you ain't got no money. You're gonna have to be bored for a little bit of, for six hours out of the day. Nah. Nah. You live on the street then, homie. Nah, cause I hustle. I hustle and I grustle. I straight up wouldn't be happy. I just wouldn't. No, there's like this is my disease broken brain, is that I know that like I am incredibly confined in what I want to do to be able to, because like I'm the exact opposite. Like I think it's because I've been raised in a relatively wealthy family and stuff, so I didn't have to worry too much about the struggles of money. But it's like I'm like, no, I just want f personal fulfillment. That's all I want. And luckily, the thing I want to do has a very clear pipeline of a lot of money in it. But you know, I don't think that's true, though. What do you mean? I don't think YouTube has a lot of money in it. Are you pissing and joking and pissing me? What do you mean? YouTube has so much money in it. Not for the average content creator. Okay, not for the average, but the slightly take, above if average. If you take the average, if you take the average, most of them are below the poverty line. Oh, of course. It's only like, I forget the exact stat, but it's only like, um, it was like one or three percent of Twitch streamers actually do it full time. And it's like, because, yeah. Yeah, but it, think about how hard it is to get to the 1%. Exactly. Agreed. But I think it's also a lot of that, like, 95% are people who do it more casually, not full-time. Do you know? Yeah, and people who have jobs because it doesn't make Well, exactly, money. yeah. But they're not putting their whole bussy into it. Do you know? The people that are and still have jobs. Uh, nah, but that's my mindset, is that why... Why get job? Because I could use job energy for YouTube energy and then get more dividend. Do you know? Unless that dividend never amounts. Unless that dividend... Your risk, your risk analysis is flawed. Unless that dividend never amounts, sure. But I think enough time invested will get you that. I am not so sure. Which maybe. Mm. I'm not saying this as like a, a per you thing. I'm saying no, I know. the overall... On the overall YouTube spectrum, I don't think there's, I don't think there's anybody in it. Uh, there's Just like I don't think that working at McDonald's will make you a CEO of McDonald's. Like, it used to be like, oh, I started at the bottom. I can make my way well, to the top. Yeah. I don't think that can happen as much. Anymore. No, I think with YouTube, it, it's a question of strategy. I mean, arguably the same thing with McDonald's. But if you're just going into McDonald's and being the fry cook and not making much of a peep, then yeah, you're not going to make your way up through the ranks. But I think... If you, with YouTube, if you go in and just fucking cut an hour of you playing WoW every single day, unedited, and post it on YouTube, and then you're like, oh, damn, or you 
play WoW for eight hours a day and you're like, damn, why is this not getting clicks? And it's like, cause like, bro, you're just playing WoW for eight hours a day. Like, what's the point? I think you have to have that personal investment, personal strategizing to be able to take things upper levels, upper opportunities and see it. So like assuming more responsibility as the McDonald's fry cook and then hopefully getting promoted to a manager. Will you become CEO? Who knows? But you'll get somewhere in the management level. Yeah, I think a bunch of people are already at management level. What do you mean? I think the expected YouTube outcome is in the range of 50 to 100,000 subscribers, even at full tilt. I'm curious. Am I still screen sharing? Average yeah. uh, YouTube channel subscribers. Let's see. Because I think the thing it's gotta is... Be, it's got to be extremely low, because most channels don't have... Exactly. Five. I think most people that count... Well, okay, this is just YouTube. Um, I don't know. What does that Reddit post say? Reddit post says, does anyone know the average number of subscribers per user? I just Googled it and couldn't find the answer. Have you found the answer yet? That's what the Reddit post says. Uh, average amount of subscribers, according to Quora... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's a hard thing to get data on. Yeah, I think it's like, um, average Twitch streamer salary. Let's see. Okay, but this is definitely not for all of them. I think it's difficult yeah. because it's hard for both of these websites, as well as like arguably TikTok or something, because, um, it's like, what do you count as the individual? Like, because a lot of people just have accounts that they'll maybe post a thing or two on, but not actually, like, say, like, oh, I do this. This is what I do. I scrub my mouse of dirt. There's dirt on my mouse. Because I think you have a dirt. different definition of how people go about this. What you mean? Most people, it starts off as a hobby and turns to a job. Yeah. Yeah. You're, yeah. And so often they're able to find a balance and then they end up in the balance. You understand uh, what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah. Work six hours a day, YouTube. But I think there's three to seven and then family the rest of the time. A lot of the people who do take off are the people who say, fuck the balance, who try that, say, fuck the balance at a certain point and then just go full tilt with it. I don't think so. I think people usually hit success and then drop the balance. Well, that's what I mean. At a certain point. No, no, no. I mean, no, I mean like they take off before they quit their job. Uh, I think it depends your definition of take off. Did I take off when I had the Gossip Accounts video and that pushed me to like 200 subs? Or no, like I, think, I think take off. I think take off is generally from... Uh, making money that is below their salary to make money that is above their salary. I mean, if you think of it, uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I think YouTube is only sustainable once you can create a salary for yourself. Uh, like, right now, if you did not have a mother, you would not be able to, you would be on the street. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. And so most people would have to sub that out with a salary job. Yeah. Which I still think you should do. But, um, like, if, so if you were working six hours a day at a Publix and you were making 15 an hour, I would say that it would take, the, the point that you take off is when you stop having to pay bills with, with Publix money and start paying it with YouTube money. That's, like, my definition of takeoff. Well, I think there's a lot of people, though, who won't... Or who just continue to pay with the public's money. Because it's not like... There's a pirate software clip I saw. Because that motherfucker always be posting damn clips. About how like people... When they make more money than like their expenses go up. And they fit the size of the aquarium tank. And so like... But I think there's a lot of people who... Uh, when they start making more money... Don't necessarily start spending more. And then... Like they don't ever dip into that. And so then it's like... For, I don't know. I don't know what I'd be saying. I lost my train of thought. I got candy on my desk. I got candy. 
I went to Target the other day for Halloween shopping because my room is a fucking mess, but I have some Halloween decorations up because I'm going to do some streams and videos and shit for Halloween. And um, yeah. I was like, ooh, I'll get candy and put it by my desk so that way I'm even more incentivized to come to my desk and work because that's the only time I can eat the candy. You like candy? Nutritionist, hate him. I got, I got some jelly beans. You like jelly beans? I got some Milky Ways, some Three Musketeers and shit. So you got the worst candies. What the fuck are you speaking to me? What do you mean those are? Those are bad. Those are not bad. I got Twix as well. Three Musketeers is like the only good one of that group. Why? The rest of them suck. What are good ones then, according to you? Huh? Sometimes Three Musketeers. But I'm more of a fruity candy kind of guy. Mmm. Yeah, I'm I'm less of that. I mean, I like it, but like in moderation, you know. What movie did you watch yesterday? I'd never heard of that. <sighs> Megalopolis. It's this movie um so it's there is this really old movie called Megalopolis Original. No, not. So it was this really old movie from like the 50s or something. Um that uh let me see if I can find it. Uh, I swear to God, it was based on something else. I can't find the damn thing. I don't know. Uh, there was some, there was some. Uh, Look up what it's based off of. Megalopolis based on. No, it's not based on the Roman fucking thing. Oh, here. Shares the films that inspired. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Duck Club. Uh, Ben-Hur, Spartacus, Persona, The Manchurian Candidate, Raise the Red Lantern, Chunking Express, and Time Code. What? Oh, and these are different ones as well. Citizen Kane, Beauty and the Beast, Best Years of Our Lives, Red Shoes. Uh, it's like you don't really know what you're talking about. I swear to God, there was like an old... A really old, like, 1950s movie. Yo, Kylo Ren is in this? Yeah, it stars Kylo Ren. Oh, what is it about? So, okay, well, it's... I think, or I swear to God, it's based on some, like, 1950s movie about, like, a dystopian city. But what the movie itself is about, and it seems like some kind of spiritual reboot, successor, whatever to that. It's by Francis Ford Coppola, who was the guy that made, like, Apocalypse Now and a few other big movies. Like, I think he made Godfather. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. Um, and, uh, like, he's well-known director. And so he made this movie, Self Finance, and it's about Adam Driver can use magic and he's kind of out and about with it but it's like technology magic and he is an architect who's like a kind of playboy who's trying to rebuild they're in rome they're in new york in the future but it's called new rome and gus fring giancarlo is the mayor and then adam driver uses his magic to and like he can create like material and like stop time and the time stopping isn't really explained ever or used ever it's just like something he can do and they and he's trying to rebuild this or he's trying to build like they're essentially rebuilding central park and like the mayor's like let's put a new like city plaza there and it looks like the fucking tim burton batman movie and the adam driver is like no let's put my future city there and it's like this whole idea it essentially looks like a giant pile of shit of architecture on top of central park and he's like oh but this will be the future of society it wasn't good um it wasn't there were some very beautiful women in it but it wasn't good what you looking at willis are you trying to read the plot summary? You gave the worst plot summary of that. That is the Wikipedia was way better. Okay, well, I think Wikipedia probably has it more competently put than the movie puts it. The movie's a fucking mess. It's a film snobs, like, self-righteous, holy thing. It got, like, 40% on Rotten Tomatoes. 46. 46. People don't, they didn't like it, <laughs> largely. 46% of people did. Okay, is that critics or audience? That's tomatoes 
So that's critics. 55% on Metacritics. Okay, well, maybe. But I don't... Most... It has not been... Budget, 120 mil? Yeah, self-financed by the director. Jeez. I mean, yeah, this motherfucker's rich. He made, like, The Godfather. It's gonna be a box office bomb, though. Huh? Won't this just be a box office bomb? Yeah, it's like being removed from theaters in the next few days. Why? Because it's already been out for a while, and people just haven't cared about it. The only reason I went to it was because I've heard it's been shit. And there's also one scene in particular where it's made so that or in, the way it's supposed to be made is that there's supposed to be someone in the audience who goes up at a certain point and reads a line from a script and then the character on screen responds to it but of course that's a fucking pain in the ass for movie theaters to do so they just have it so that there's an 80 yard line in the movie and it's also that shot is like it takes up like a quarter of the screen <laughs> literally like the upper half is entirely black and it's just the shot is in the bottom middle hmm. it was bizarre it's weird i would not you definitely wouldn't like it but it's like it's one of those movies that film critics go to and they're like oh yeah this is like the beginning of tell like this is speaks to society and it's like, there was definitely supposed to, Shia LaBeouf was like, I think, let me see if I can, let me re-pull up the article. Shia LaBeouf was in it, and he was, uh, I think, supposed to, he was like Adam Driver's, like, like, uncle, or no, uh, cousin, and so... They kind of build him up as being this person who's trying to out Adam Driver as like the head of the company or the heir to the bank or whatever. And they don't really explain what the bank does, but they kind of set that up. And then he becomes like a kind of like Trump type person. Does he wave his hands around? Uh... Yeah, a bit. Not, like, so much in expressions, but more in, like, radical leader leading, like, insurrection type thing through politics and, like, drain the swampy kind of stuff. But Loki, I think now is a great time for movies. Uh, now is... It's the first time I've ever been excited in a long time about this. I, like, I want to make time to go to the movies, but I can't. Well, I what movie? Them. Dude, I think The Wild Robot looks fantastic. Okay, Wild Robot looks gas. Transformers 1, uh, I've also heard good things about. But I think that's being uh, removed from theater soon. I think that um, I really am excited for Piece by Piece. The fuck is that? That's the Pharrell Lego movie. Oh. I that looks great. I am waiting to see what people think about that before I go to see it. I am not that enthusiastic. Why? I'm not I don't know. I'm not that I haven't seen all that much promotional things, but like I am not that enthusiastic. I don't love the animation style because it's like the Lego thing, but it's slightly different than how the Lego movie was and I kind of preferred the realistic aspect of the Lego movie. Um realistic. What was realistic about the Lego? Movie? I think just the way it was lit was probably like a little bit different in that uh, it had more realistic or cinematic lighting, whereas this is animated, or the lighting is a bit more like kids' movie-y, at least in my opinion. Uh, I don't know if I agree. This looks exactly like Lego Batman. Um, this is lit like exactly like Lego Batman. Let me re-pull up the fucking thing. Piece by piece images. And I know the soundtrack is going to go unbelievable. Oh, the hard. soundtrack will be great. I don't know. It just looks like overly glossy some. Whereas, like, you can't quite make out the pieces in the back and everything. I mean, this is a fine shot. But, like, I don't know. I think uh, some of the Lego movie stuff, it looks more like the Lego Ninjago movie than the Lego Batman movie, I'd say. Interesting. I've never watched the Lego Ninjago movie, so I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> it's not that great. But I think this looks great. I mean, Snoop Dogg is in it. Everybody who's cool is in it. Yeah, everyone who's cool is in it. And who knows? Maybe it's good, and then I'll go see it. But, like, there's that, which is coming out, sure, and that'll probably be good. 
But uh, there's also been, like, the fucking Joker sequel that came out, which is supposedly, like, a huge piece of shit. For Les Dois? Yeah. Fou Le Pou. Um, it's, uh, I don't know. I've heard horrible things about that. When I was going for Megalopolis, I went and I was like, okay, I'm going to, for the first time ever, watch this film like a true American watching a movie and buy popcorn because I never get popcorn. So I was in line to get popcorn and then these people came up behind me. They had just walked out of a different movie and they were getting refills on their drinks and they were talking about the sequel that was apparently shit and they watched the original years ago and they really liked it but this one was a huge disappointment and letdown and in my mind I was like I can't tell if they're talking about the Joker or Megalopolis. I think I don't think Megalopolis Megalopolis was, was definitely based sequel. on something. Old old dystopian I also think Saturday Night looks like a great movie. Movie. Uh, Metropolis. That's it. Metropolis. This influential German science fiction film presents a highly stylized futuristic city where a beautiful and cultural utopia exists above a bleak underworld populated by mistreated workers. Metropolis. So if I go to Meg... That doesn't sound like Metropolis. You shut your dumb off. Meg... Mega... Or Meopolis. Meopolis. It's just like swapping out one fucking Latin root. Metropolis. Uh, Yeah, exactly. Look, it was inspired by it. Bam. Fa Francis Ford Coppola was fascinated by science fiction films, such as Francis Lang's Metropolis. And they talk about it later. Critical response. Compared to the works of Metropolis. I am right, and you're a hater. I okay. went to two semesters of film school. Thank you very much. I know about the movies. I know about how they work, and the film, and the carbon, and everything. So thank you very much. Thank you. What do you think about Saturday Night? I have not heard of it. Saturday, Saturday Night? Night looks like a banger. Saturday Night movie. Uh... It's about like the first, like the hours before the first episode of Saturday Night Live. Yeah, it could be good. It looks hilarious. I don't know. It has okay like, reviews. If I had free, if I had a free, it has an 80%, doesn't it? On Rotten Tomatoes, 7.2 IMDb, 60 on Metacritic. Yeah, the Metacritic guys have it up their ass. Yeah, um, you just cited Metacritic's 55% of Megalopolis as proof that it was liked by most people. And proof that it's up their ass. Um... Yo, they got Willem like, Dafoe? Gladiator 2 is coming out? That I've heard... I don't know. That, I, I've only seen people be like, why are they remaking this? Or why are they doing a sequel to this so many years later? Dude, why not? Because it's a fucking old movie. It's from like 2000. Do you remember how great Gladiator was, though? No, I haven't seen it. Great movie. Go watch it. Okay, maybe. There's a bunch of great movies. Reagan? Everybody's losing their mind over Reagan. Uh, is anyone losing their mind over Reagan? The Republicans. The Republicans, yeah, but I haven't seen What about vindicating else. Trump? What is that? Are you just scrolling through Fandango now? Yeah. <laughs> Blowing bubbles and shit. There's a Republican paid film called Vindicating Trump. Yeah, I don't care. There's also that Sebastian Stan Trump movie. Uh, the yeah, Apprentice, I think. Oh yeah, that one's coming out. What is that one about? I think it's just like a kind of biopic about him, but like a not glazing one, like a like a like a like a fucker one, you know? Okay. Hmm. Uh -huh. Dude, there's like a lot of yeah, baby, baby. A lot of cool movies. Yeah, the only movie I am excited for is uh I'm trying to think is the fucking marvel thunderbolts movie that like has a trailer which won't come out. that comes out like may i think no i'm convinced no new marvel movies will come out what do you mean you're convinced of it dude they all flop and so they just cancel okay deadpool and wolverine did not flop <laughs> that did gangbusters but wasn't that not no, it was Marvel. A Disney production? No, it was. 
I thought that was Sony. Nope. That is Ugh. even further from... Oh, I'm also excited for the new Venom. Um, no, it wasn't Sony. What you could have been confusing it for was Fox, but Disney bought oh. Fox, so it was entirely them. Oh, okay. I'm also excited for the new Venom. The Venom movies are just dumb fun. Oh, what is it called? Venom, uh... The Last Dance? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't watched the first Venom, to be honest with you. It's on D+. Huh? It's on D+. I don't have Disney+. Plus. Cringe? Boomer? L? I'm shorting Disney right now. Yeah? Yep. Isn't that, like, dumb to do as a retail investor? What do you mean? I'm not a retail investor. To short Disney? What? Wait, yeah. Okay, how are you shorting it? Dude, I'm up. Dude, my short is going extremely well. Okay, but how? You said, you're not, you said you're not a retail investor. How are you shorting it? Uh, just using like a broker. Oh. All right. Whatever. Look up man. Disney stock. My short was put in six months ago. Not financial advice. Not Disney this financial stock. stock. Six months. Yeah, it looks good. I mean, I bought right here. Where? Uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, June twenty sixth. Wednesday, June. So in theory, I should have hopped out a little earlier, but I'm still up. I mean, aren't all stocks kind of slumping? Not really. What does IVV say? I've only seen stuff that all stocks are a little bit slumping some. Yeah, but that's because you are literally a retail investor. You have no idea what's going on. I pay some attention. Not really. Yeah, I do. Mm. There's a channel I fucking recommended to you that I watched that you never once watched. Nope. Even though you said, okay, I see this and I will watch it. You never once looked at it. You send me a hundred Instagram reels a day. I do eventually go through and watch them. Yeah, eventually I will watch your shit. No, you won't. Dude, you are just bricked. You won't. You won't. And I know, I know it. And I'm not even mad. But, why are you screen sharing now? Wrong. What? Okay, this is one stock. The market is doing great. This is the composite of oh. the S&P 5. Okay, maybe. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Dumb. Idiot. Well, about like three months, though. Hmm. Alright, fair enough. Hmm. What about your today? Hmm. Fair enough. <sighs> Right all the time. Dude, I'm gonna die. The fucking wow. hurricane is gonna wipe me off the map. Oh yeah, how's that going? I don't know. It, uh, by the time this comes out, it'll be a week ago, but like, it looks... Hurricane like, Mountain. Yeah, it is crazy that the two hurricanes this year have the most boomer-ass names ever. Helene and Milton. They're married. Yeah, I guess. Giving us the real one-two combo, only like two weeks apart. Yeah. But it's, uh, I don't know. I think it's, a, it's, a, it's not coming like directly at us. It's a little bit south of us. But, uh, and it's looking pretty fucking big. But I think it's going to like real pipe down once it gets closer to the shore and over the state. Isn't it like the, one of the biggest, highest wind storms of all time? Yeah, it's like the eighth worst for pressure inside the eye or something i saw a clip of some dude crying huh a weather boy was crying R yeah yeah because it was like one of the greatest pressure drops he'd ever seen in his career and he was crying yeah he was like that worried how, how is how does it work the pressure is lower inside the eye that doesn't make sense to me you don't know what pressure is. exactly Hey, you speaking to your microphone while you multitasking, huh? Oh, dude. What? Look at Harvard Sailing Instagram. <sighs> Harvard Sailing Instagram. Harvard Sailing. You can see me. Where? Look that shit. Are you scrolling Instagram while we're in the middle of recording? Somebody texted me to look at Harvard Sailing's Instagram. Uh, oh, yeah, you, you was in it a little bit. Well, you know, look. It's coming up. With the dog. 
That's yeah, it's you. It's you rocking the boat. Lit. Damn, Bobby. This is like a no win day. There was no win on the water. <laughs> but dude, like every really day is a good day when you're on the water. Dude, the media team look, went crazy with this shit. Oh my god. What do you mean they went crazy? Like with the it's editing? Good. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I like the color grading. Yeah. The music is bad, though. Yeah, not the greatest music. But dude, it's gonna fucking wipe us all out under the sun. It's gonna yeah, blur. you're dead. You are you are cooked. No, I feel. I mean, I I want to legitimately. If it wasn't coming, I would do the Lego stream in like the next few days. But no, so legitimately, legitimately, I know you're like, uh, 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 uh. legitimately, I would. But is coming, and so I'm gonna do it right afterwards. But I'm a I'm considering doing something of like streaming until the storm knocks out power. That'd be funny. And just unless I, it fries your electronics. Yeah, that's the concern. <laughs> uh, just stream from your MacBook. Uh, I could, but it'd be a lot worse quality. So much so that I wouldn't even want to bother. No, 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 no. Listen, brother. I'm listening, brother. Now you have a surge protector on your on your computer, right? Yeah. So you run the stream. <laughs> okay, give him time. Run, run everything from your, do a capture card to your computer. Desktop? And play like, play like Red Dead on your, so stream from your laptop. Uh -huh. The quality will be shit, but do your mic and a capture card from your computer your TV, stream Red Dead, and then be recording, so that way when it goes out, you can have a clip. Uh, well, I'd probably just let the VOD go, because any re local recording will get fried immediately. Why? Or actually, no, if I do a local recording on my laptop, then... On your laptop, that's what I'm saying. But is there not still the exact same concern about... No, your PlayStation is fine, it's plugged into a surge protector. Yeah, but so is the computer. No, you're not doing anything on your desktop. I know, but I'm saying, isn't this an equal amount of concern? No, your, 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 your MacBook has a battery. Yeah, okay, but what about the PlayStation? The PlayStation will be fine. It has a built-in search. You won't lose any data from this because it's constantly saving and overwriting. The worry is about your computer is that you will lose any unsaved data. Because your day, your, but the the PlayStation, you might just lose to the next checkpoint. What data would I lose on my computer? I thought you were saying about it getting fried. What what would get fried? It wouldn't then? get fried. You have a surge protector on it. Either way, it won't get fried. Hmm. If you have a surge protector, it won't get fried. Yeah, man. So I should just play Overwatch and capture card to my laptop from the yeah. desktop. Yeah. Just can't you plug in a mouse and keyboard anyways? What do you mean? Or you do Overwatch with controller? No, I was saying Overwatch with computer. With desktop. I guess. If it's on a search protector, then what's the difference? Right? Ooh. Yeah. Right? You're a computer guy. If everything breaks, it's on you. Sounds good. <laughs> take no legal All $16,000 down the drain. Yeah, at once. Uh, that would be a seriously lot. though you should go help your mother with sandbags uh i don't think we're doing that i think that's a little bit stupid do you normally get does your family get sandbags whenever there's a hurricane yeah yeah water usually like gets up to our garage door oh we, we never have flooding down. fair enough like we just straight up never do i don't know i can ask her but i doubt she will even want to I've, okay. I've never once seen her purchase a sandbag. Not once. Even when there was, well, like... You don't purchase them. Irma and whatever, like... They give you them. Okay, well, I've never Good. once seen us have sandbags. Whoa! Mr. Fuck that buys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't see myself. I'm a little thing. That's how you be looking after all the work you've done. <laughs> <laughs> Bags so down, they'd be looking red. <laughs> Did you see the, <laughs> the thing I posted on my close friends? 
what was it? It was just like a. <laughs> Y'all be looking for Dory, but I need more bread. <laughs> Let me pull it up. Is it still on there? It's probably not still on there. Let me see. I hope it is. No, it is. <laughs> Y'all looking for Dory, but I need more bread. <laughs> <laughs> That is so funny. <laughs> that is literally so funny. I will just once a day get like a, a Instagram <laughs> real notification from you. And I'm just like, okay, this motherfucker is still somehow alive. Like yeah, he's still somehow true. consuming content. But that shit was so funny. <laughs> and the, the Instagram was like, <laughs> yesterday, this one. I haven't seen it. Live react. Live react. Oh god. Pull up my Instagram. Uh, <laughs> I'll be looking for Nemo Dory, but I Nemo bread. Where are right you? there. Where are where? This? You are only like two steps away from as brain rotted as I am. But that's not like brain rot. No, it's not, but it's getting close. It's getting to it's the not. point of like superb irony. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all be looking for Dory, but I Nemo bread. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. The AI images. That people use for memes are hilarious. What do you mean the AI images? Oh, like that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. Dude, that's a hilarious photo of Nemo. I feel like if... Yeah, sure. It's a good photo. You're getting me into Great. the morality of AI. But... It's, 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 <laughs> it's chill. Thugged out Nemo? That's hilarious! What? Thugged out Nemo? Oh, well, that's yeah. hilarious. That's so funny. I need more bread. Did you see? You probably didn't because you're an asshole and you don't watch things. Did you see the George Santos Fortnite Friday? No. Okay. So, Twitch streamer I like, Connor Eats Pants, who I've definitely talked okay. to you about before and you didn't pay I any attention to. He got George Santos on his Fortnite game show no talk shot. show i am being fully serious he got disgraced former congressman george santos didn't he just get charges pressed against him uh yes and he pled guilty but is not yet sentenced okay and his sentencing is in like six months or something but i don't think he's legally allowed to say he just kind of alluded to something in six months and connor was like oh well is your sentencing in six months and he's like i is that's not important <laughs> Interesting. But he got fucking George Santos on. Let me see if I can pull up a clip. Am I uh, screen sharing audio? Yeah. I need more bread. Cool. Two mini games hit like crazy. I've always wanted to do like a streamer event with that. If we ever do that, you're invited. Oh, not this. There are so many good clips. Um, This was a good one, I think. Oh, fuck. Dude, every single time my fridge turns off, yes, it video. like fucks with all the power to like my mouse and shit. <laughs> I have no idea why. Like an AR-15. Like, like no. AR-15. I mean, aren't you using a make-believe AR-15 in your game? Yeah, it's a video that's game. That. Yeah, I understand, but again, I, I, I try to draw these parallels. Like, why do you need that in the video game? Because it's a video game, George, and nobody's dying in a video game. <laughs> I get that. I get that. I get that. There's, there's a dichotomy there. No. Let, let's just put it this way. Like an AR-15 <laughs> team, though. Like, there's a video game, George. Uh, what was this one? Oh, hold on. There's two more I want to show you. This one was another good clip. It's not successful. Well, she is, but she seems to repute everything about success or being rich or anything. Did she not, like, overcome, like, harder odds being, like, a black woman in, like, New York that had to be, like, bused to, like, her school and, like, schools were, like, desegregated? Well, first of all, that's not true, right? She she, she wasn't around when, when segregation uh -oh, was the storm, a thing. Oh, the storm, the storm, George! 
<laughs> follow me, follow me, follow me. The storm's gonna hurt you, George. Oh, is Kamala Harris not contested? Uh, there's one other good one. Let me see. He, they were like, I don't want to spoil it. Fill time, fill time, Bobby, fill time. I'm filling time. I'm not like spoiling an anything. 15, no, no like, not this one. We just but, watched like, this one. Did, Why did he think that that, what? that Kamala Harris was around during segregation? Oh, I don't know. Dude, I didn't do... How old is fucking Kamala Harris? Kamala Harris age. 60. 64? Eh, she, uh, she maybe was, could Yeah, have. but she was in a northern state. Not a southern state. I assume northern states still had some segregation. I don't know. Yeah, but by then it would have been about... She was zero. When was segregation done, got rid of? 19... 65? Okay, so preschool. No, I don't know. Whatever. What? Bro. I, I'm, joking. I'm, joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay, this was the last that. clip. That's crazy, though. I care more about, like, yeah. there's, like, 100,000 people that are dying in, like, the Middle East. Yeah, and, well, you should, you should be equally pissed off that... Oh. Big win! <laughs> we, uh, you won! Look at that! <laughs> Are you doing the Macarena? Yes. <laughs> In the middle of talking about Israel Palestine oh winning a fucking game of Fortnite. What the hell? Dude, this was I watched this live. I like I was gonna stream that night, but I was like, no, I need to make time for this. Like, this is Fortnite Friday and it was peak Twitch stream. It was one of the best streams I've seen ever. It was hilarious. That's crazy. Or like there was one moment where they both bonded about being autistic and learning about their autism through their obsession with Pokemon. And they were like, oh yeah, that's our common ground then. <laughs> really? Yeah. Is Santos autistic? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I think he's lying. George Santos autism. George Santos says he's autistic. Eh, who cares? He's probably from Fortnite. No, yeah. it's... I'm on the spectrum. Have you... Is that another lie? Or... No, you've been, you <laughs> Can we fact check that? You spent the whole day with me. You tell me. That check. That guy's not on the spectrum. Nah, I think it checks out. That guy's not on the spectrum. For all the shit he did, I think it checks out. No. You don't? George Pope. He's, com he's too comfortable in large situations. Uh, maybe. I don't know. People got different spectrums. That's true. Why are you so leaned forward? You at the gamer stance. I'm reading about your new German hearing aids that are disrupting a ten billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I need. Is there a way to disable these? Is distracting because I just saw Russell Brand on here for like fifteen minutes. I don't know. Oh, I wish it was eighty degrees. No, you don't. It's cold. Oh! How cold? Forty-eight this morning. Dude, I wish. I do. No. I miss the cold. No. I miss the cold. There was a moment yesterday where I walked into the Run. house. I walked into the house and it was warmer inside than outside. And I was like, oh. Like, oh, it's kind of decent out. It was only 70 degrees, but it was cooler outside. Yeah. Fair enough. I miss the cold. Uh, oh, no, man. Whatever, man. No, All right, well, this is the last episode of the podcast because I'm going to get fucking killed by a flying branch. At least I'll stream it, though. At least I'll stream it, though. Good way to go out. Real shit. On my mama. All right. <laughs> I'll either be in Natural Race Nationals by next recording or I'll be really sad. What is Nat Race? Match racing is like 1v1 in big boats rather than a two-person thingy. Mm. Like a galleon. From That's not even a type of boat. That is, you dumb fucker. D hold on, I'll Google it. Galleon. Boom! Idiot. <laughs>